I have the distinct and sneaking suspicion that Mark is about to become a caffeine junkie for the next six days. Lot of coffee. Bring on the energy shots while you're at it, too. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark. In our Against All Challenges meta series, we are taking on the hope hopeless rescue challenge. Thank you for that superbly timed music game. That was a little bit eerie. Uh, it's nighttime. I need to make some coffee before I go anywhere because our energy is like right at the point where we are starting to suffer a little bit for not having... Uh, tell you what, how close to the exit can I just make this fire? So let's just set up a fire. Yeah, right here. This this will work, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, just kidding. I need to start the fire before I put the lantern out. Wood matches, cattail head. I don't have a lot of fuel for this thing. So, hmm. I think I might have to step back into the cave and see what I can find. A little bit of backtracking here, but this will be worthwhile just while we get the coffee stocks built up. We've got several cans already, and I can probably find more. I just need to make sure that I continue moving to the best of my ability. So... Let's see what we can accomplish. Wow, this is a lot of backtracking. But down here at the bottom of this area... Oh, there's some coal. That's very useful. There's some more coal. That might be all I need, to be honest. Is there another piece, or just those two? I will go ahead and step down here, because the likelihood that I... will find either more coal, or just... Yeah. 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 Fuel for the fire right here. No, no, no. No, I don't want to break anything down yet. Just, hey, what, what are you doing? I just want that stick. Thank you. It was making me pick up that branch. I was clearly pointing at the stick. You saw it. I was pointing at the stick. And here's some, oh, very nice. Pieces of reclaimed wood as well. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Uh, unfortunately, you probably can't. So, let's just go ahead and get going. I'll just start with that so I can have the 100% starting chance. Don't want to waste time starting a fire that doesn't stick around. I'll keep some of this on me. Now let's put the cooking pot down. All right, I'm going to just holster that. There we go. So that's, I think, what it was in one of the previous episodes where I was like, why is it delaying the... Uh, like the me placing things on these cooking spots. What's the issue? I think it had to do with the fact that I was holding a gun or holding a lantern or something. Okay, so now I need to make some water. That's fine. So this will, of course, take some time. But one of the advantages of this taking a little bit of extra time is that... I mean, it's a disadvantage because we are on the clock, but one of the advantages is that it could potentially pass this blizzard. The blizzard, I don't mind the idea of going out and braving the blizzard, but the problem is, you know, I don't have a whole lot of protective clothing yet. There's an advantage in that... Yeah, I can go in past time. There's an advantage in that it would protect me from any predators. Alright, let's go ahead and drink that, and then we'll have the remainder, and we can make some coffee with that. The blizzard is still going, much to my frustration. And we are still getting more and more tired, but the coffee will fix that. Okay, that's two more. And probably, in order to get to the coffee faster, hang on, I bet I can do this. Yep, perfect. Oop. All right, so we're back up to an hour on the fire. Both of those are done. A little bit more coffee. We're down to our last tin. This, of course, also... This will, of course, also keep us hydrated. So that's a positive. Okay, speaking of that, I have no more water. And I don't want to take that long for the next bit of water. So what we'll do is... I'll pile that last piece of coal on there. Pass time until that's ready. 
we'll just take the water. I don't want to drink it because I need to use it to make coffee. And good, that was our last coffee. Excellent. So, let's drink that. We'll get some energy from that. And it does sound like the blizzard might have just stopped. So that's good. Good and bad, because I'm losing protection, but... All right. I will take a few torches from this fire while I'm looking at it. There we go. And let's head back up to the exit. Yeah, I don't hear the wind to the same degree anymore. Although we are now... Our energy situation is worse than it was at the beginning of all that. That's a downside. I'm also surprised at how much health I've lost. I think that was just due to being cold. Oh wait, no, gotta keep going. That's cool to see that fire down there. And I'm, I'm not used to seeing anything below this bridge, but I happened to put the fire down there. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, so if I drink one more coffee, how much energy does it give me? That's what I need to know. Okay, so that's about how much I was expecting. So let's drink another one on top of that. I'm not thirsty, of course not. So I have to wait until I'm a little bit thirsty to drink any coffee. But we are still gonna be caffeine junkies. We're just gonna have to live off of that caffeine supply. We have no choice. That was a great torch, but now it's almost gone. All right, so. Might help us scare off a wolf, though. All right, now one advantage of our current situation is that the debacle with this cave during the Nomad Challenge have, has given me some nice, good reminders of where I need to go. Visibility, not great. Temperatures, passable. Let's see. There's the arch. We're just going to walk right toward it, and then we'll be on the road. And we will be able to get where we need to go. Maybe. Probably. I think. Assuming we don't get eaten alive by wolves or bears. Now, there's a certain disadvantage to following the road directly. It does keep us off the path of most wildlife so that's that's the advantage it is also a set path so we can kind of see where we're going which is good but also it does set us back a little bit from the direction we really need to be going which is to timberwolf mountain it's not an amazing diversion we'll be okay but it does take us a little bit farther away from the farmhouse and i would like to kind of like the farmhouse is a nice waypoint for me to run through real quick and see if I could find, like, additional coffee, additional clothing, anything that might help keep me warm. Let me go ahead and drink another coffee while I'm thinking about it. Now, this is Pleasant Valley, so it could well be that this blizzard that just ended will just turn right into another one in a second, because that's how Pleasant Valley treats its survivors. But we will just do what we can. All right, I'm going to just walk the middle of the, this road to the best of my ability because I know that wolves... Okay, good. The weather actually did the opposite of what I just said. So, yay. We have increased visibility. Light is a lot like what it was. I hate that you have to stop moving to do this. That's a shame. So, yeah, we could kind of hang a left, and it would take us more straight towards the farm following this road this is by the way the last time we were on this road in the meta series was the nomad challenge we were walking the opposite direction i had my lantern out and it was a full-fledged blizzard remember that and i thought i knew where i was going but then i the archway that we just walked under i used it as a pointer kind of did a little bit of overthinking used it as a pointer rather than as an archway because when you treat it as an archway and walk through it perpendicular to the direction the tree is laying, then it takes you straight to that cave, as you saw from us walking the path in the opposite direction just now. But I rethought my plan at the last second and deviated and then got horribly lost and confused in a way that almost rivals what happened at the end of Archivist, but not quite. Not quite. That was some disorganized chaos if I've ever seen it. Ooh. 
I'm glad the weather decided to clear up. We're also staying pretty warm, so we're not, you know, another huge downside of going out in the blizzard, obviously, would have been that we would have gotten cold very quickly, our clothes would have gotten cold, and we would have probably lost more health, which would have made us even more vulnerable to any bears or wolves in the area. I'm keeping an eye on... I can hear some footsteps. Not sure from where. I feel like there might be a wolf somewhere amidst these trees that I'm just not seeing. There's definitely some wolves to my left. That's in my left earphone. So, if you're listening with a headset as well, then you're hearing the same thing, hopefully. Those are to the left. We have six days, four hours, 20 minutes remaining in the challenge. Not a lot of time. Coffee's working for us so far, so that's good. All right, I'm still wary of the possibility that there could be wildlife on the road as opposed to adjacent to it. But this nice high point will give me the opportunity to search. Speaking of the road, we are almost to it. All right, so we just lost the warming up bonus from the coffee. So we're gonna get colder a little faster. We are in the early hours of the morning now. All right, I know exactly where I'm going thanks to some of my recent visits to this zone. So, <laughs> past comments in the meta series where I've been like, I know exactly where I'm going. I say this with even more confidence than I said that, if you can believe it. All right, so there's the road. I'm still watching to the left and right. Again, this does take us a little bit back from where we need to go because we need to hang a left and we're kind of closer to Thompson's Crossing at this point than we are to the farm and to the barn. I actually don't need this lantern. I just have it out by sheer habit, so I'm going to let that... let that sit and save my fuel. It does provide a little bit of a warmth bonus, which is why I was keeping it out for a moment, but... I mean, what I could do, and this could potentially help with a furry woodland friend if we run into one, is we can light this torch. It's not going to last nearly as long as the lantern, and it does consume a match. But at least we can use this to ward off any of our... friendly growling compatriots if we run into them. Okay, back on the road. I'm going to step on the pavement as fast as I can, get that speed bonus, and begin making my way towards the farmhouse. Not the barn. We'll pass the barn. But we're not going to go inside the barn. We're going to pass the barn. Go to the farmhouse, check for additional coffee, maybe make some more really quick. And then, especially if we find coffee, what I may do is just drink all of it immediately because that will allow me to recover a lot of energy instantaneously. Although now I'm currently thinking in my, like, <laughs> thinking in my mind as opposed to in my shoulder. Um, I just got this thought running through my head like, well, how much time did I just use making that coffee? You know? It was two hours, three hours, and I got maybe four or five hours of rest out of it, so it's two or three gained. Because you definitely sacrifice a little bit of time to make the water that you need, unless you find the water, in which case it doesn't take nearly as much time. And that's one of the advantages of going to the farmhouse, Die because we will, be able, we will be able to just find the water, and we are once again losing health due to the cold. So here's the barn. Right there. Our old friend. And I will, since I'm walking right by it, I will poke my head into this car and see if there are any supplies I might be able to use. The trunk is locked. Huh. 
the torches, lighting my breath, making it like blood red, which is somewhat disconcerting. All right, don't need that anymore. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's just get to the farmhouse as fast as we can. And check for more coffee and then head straight for Timberwolf Mountain. We're going to use the same route that we used in Archivist. And I just need to arrange this so that I'm well rested. I might be able to rest for a moment at the bottom of the rope. Because there's that, uh, that cache, that abandoned cache at the bottom of the rope. So I have that. I'll go ahead and say it. Pleasant Valley's being nice to me right now. I don't anticipate that this will last, especially if I stop in the house and make a bunch of coffee. By the time I leave, it'll probably be bad weather again. Makes me wish that I had a little bit of birch bark so I could make some birch bark tea and recover some health that way. But I do not. All right, so once we cross this bridge, this is the river that runs not only by the farmhouse, but that runs directly up to the point that takes us up the walking path to Skeeter's Ridge, and then to the plane crash, and then eventually, very soon, to the base of Timberwolf Mountain. Something I mentioned in the comments, too, I've been thinking about this for the last few days, and I've realized something about my kind of mental habits in Timberwolf Mountain as a zone that I'm not as familiar with, as I've mentioned. I realized that I kind of have blinders on for everything beyond the Mountaineer's Hut. Okay, so imagine that you are entering Timberwolf Mountain and you're walking toward the Mountaineer's Hut, which is somewhere I've always known like how to get there for the most part, except when there's a lot of fog, in which case I get lost immediately, right? But once I get to the Mountaineer's Hut, I always have blinders on for everything else beyond that in that same direction. So if you imagine that direction that you're coming from when you enter Timberwolf Mountain, and imagine getting to the Mountaineer's Hut, I kind of just focus on the peak at that point, and I forget that there's a whole bunch more. Let's see. There's a whole bunch more. Oh, there's some revolver ammo there. I'm going to have to get in the backseat to grab it, though. Including easier pathways. All right, that is locked. All right, so I can step into the... Uh, outbuilding right here. But yeah, there are there are easier pathways to the top and easier pathways to the cave that I got into during the last episode of Archivist if you just keep going past. Hey, bunny. Hey, bunny. If you just keep going past. Hey, bunny. Oh, four bunnies. Hi, friends. How are you? Good to see you. All right, let's hop into tractor. Hmm. Nothing. All right. And so now that I know that, now that I'm kind of conscious of that, and I've realized that, you know, with words, and I'm articulating it and thinking through it, I think that will make it easier for me to deal with that situation in the future. Let me light another torch. What have we here? Nice. Pick some accelerant out there. It was right in front of me. And another storm lantern, which I'll pick up because I might be able to harvest that for more fuel. Let me light this. Let's see what I can find. I don't need the stump remover. I will take the revolver cartridges. Revolvers do sometimes, 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 spawn here in the outbuilding, but not always. Too heavy. So that, I believe, is my second hatchet, if I'm not mistaken. It is, so I'll drop the lower condition of the two. Looks like I do have some flares. That's handy. Let's see. All right, that's a bed. Fire barrel. Nothing there. There's another bedroll. That's kind of cool. I do have a bedroll already, so that's fine. It's good to know that I have four flares, though. So you notice how many places count as bedding here, which is pretty neat. Like, I've pointed to four different spots that have all said bed since I've walked in. Okay, let me quickly go up top and see what we can find. It's worth, this is one of the few kind of loot dense areas that's on our path. So I think not exploring it for loot and supplies is a mistake. And hopefully I don't live to regret those words. We'll see. Well, <laughs> if I regret those words, I won't be living, will I? But you know what I mean. All right. All 
right, so we got a dead body up here. Torch is almost out, but I have flares, so it's fine. Hope nobody needs this. Anymore. Emergency stim. Okay, see? That's that's what I mean. A ball of clock. See? 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 This is why we're here. It's actually worse than my current headgear because of its condition, but ketchup chips, worn thin wool sweater. How about that? I might All have right. to drop some gear. You might, but I think your visit up here was worthwhile, Mark. Well done. All right. Let's step back outside. It'll be sunrise before too much longer. Ooh, that startled me. <laughs> the building randomly deciding to creak. Okay, so no bears out in front of us. That's good. I'm going to kind of hang up right here just to make sure. Yep. Yeah, the main creatures to worry about. There's two wolves over there. Have a torch. But the main creature to worry about on this side of the farmhouse is a bear. And we're not seeing one at the moment. So I'm just going to beeline for the... Uh, I'm going to take a look for the... Uh, take a look at this... What would it be? Storage shed? Not quite a barn. I'm going to take a look here first. It's kind of a stable, so really. Cold and warming up again. No, you're not warming up, Mark. That's that's not what's happening there. Just be aware of that. That's not happening. That's how people die. In the cold. When they start to think that. Oh, I'm fine. I'm not cold anymore. Even though everything around me is ice. Pry bar, simple tools. I don't care about the tools. But that is why we came out here. Now, let's go. I guess I'll go down into the basement first. And go ahead and explore down there. Yeah, you do need to find food. But you're about to find lots of it, so it's okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Yep. Inside the basement we go. Not going to spend too much time in here, but it is worth the visit. For sure. All right, we're no longer losing health due to hypothermia risk, which is nice. There's some fleece mittens, which we found 20 million of those so far this challenge already. Let's see what else, though. We've got some accelerants. There's a box of matches. Honestly, I was really... If there was one thing I was hoping for, like on the smaller side of things... I'm glad we have a pry bar now. If there was one thing I was hoping for, it was... I think I can use oh, this. Oh, nice. Those are three useful items. Although I'll probably put the flashlight down. It was that I would find matches. Honestly. Ragged wool long... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're in much better shape clothing-wise. <laughs> I picked almost... I picked all that stuff up almost too quickly to even track all the good stuff I was picking up, but we we're good. We're good. We're good. We need to do a little bit of repair just to make sure we're ready for Timberwolf Mountain, but... What's really ideal about our current situation is that, aside from our energy level, which we're going to have to keep topping off with coffee, aside from that, we are soon going to be able to just, like, pretty much head straight for Timberwolf Mountain without worrying too much about the temperature going this down is. into negative digits and becoming a problem. So that's quite good. All right, so Mark's going to start being dramatic because I'm carrying a lot of stuff. It's understandable. I'd be dramatic too if I was in his shoes. Let's go ahead and put on the better boots that I just picked up. Let's also see if I have better socks. I'm not nope. going to be able to carry this load for much longer. You'll be fine. All right, so let's replace these jeans with... So let's see here. I've got 58% worn work pants and 34% Nice. Okay, so I definitely need to put... I have two pairs of combat pants. Basically, I'm just going to wear both of those because they're more protective than the work pants. They're ac Ooh, they're actually not. They're actually not. That's very interesting. All right, so I've got these ragged pants right now. They're at... 1.2 degrees Fahrenheit at 33%. So so you can triple that. It's going to be about 3.6. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I presume it'll be about 3.6. It might, it might not be, but all right. So there's that. What else do we pick up? Anything? Nothing there. I did pick up a decent ski jacket. So let's put that on the inner layer. Actually, no, it needs to be the outer layer right now. So until we repair the windbreaker. And we did get some work gloves as well, which are probably not better than the fleece mittens we're wearing. Let's see, 99% condition. Just kidding, they are. So let's wear those. Excellent. And we are at about the 25 minute mark. So let's step inside here. And we've got a save point. I'm going to stop this episode here. I would keep going a little bit longer, but I am expecting a delivery actually. That's not series related at all, but I need to stop recording and I'm very lucky that it didn't come while this recording was going. I actually was putting it off a little bit because I was trying to not be interrupted, but didn't happen, thankfully. So I'm going to stop here for now. In the next one, we are going to continue searching the house and then keep moving beeline fashion to the summit of Timberwolf Mountain. Well, first the base, then the summit in order, you know, roughly speaking. And then hopefully find the distress, distress pistol relatively quickly and then proceed back in the direction of Desolation Point as quickly as possible, which let's be honest, that'll be the easy leg of the series. The tough point will be the, the tough leg is the one that we're on right now, especially once we're on Timberwolf Mountain, because again, not very familiar with that zone. So cross your fingers for me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.